Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest, Tourist Trap. There are no quest requirements, any stat requirements are 10 fletching and 20 smithing. For the items needed are full desert, which includes the boots, the shirt and the bottoms, 3 bronze bars, 30 feathers and a hammer. All of these items can easily be bought from Chanty here in Chanty Pass. For the recommended items are two stamina potions of four doses, which should be enough depending on how much you weigh. So be sure to bring some weight reducing armor and also a weapon to kill a combat 47. But a safe spot for mages is available. And then also, because we are in the desert, bring approximately three filled water skins. For the teleports, absolutely nothing. Alright, where the Sardis quest is just south of Chanty Pass, south of El Carrot. Let's exchange a Chanty Pass to go through the Chanty Pass. Yes, proceed regardless. And let's talk to Arena and select option 1, 3, and then 1 twice. Next, after talking to her, let's go south, southwest, and it's now already time for the boss fight. Be sure to bring some food if you are a very low level. Just keep going south, southwest until you hit the sand wall, which is the desert mining camp. Go to the western side of it, and there will find some NPCs. We will need to talk to the mercenary captain. Talk to him and select option 1. Then 2, 3 times. And then end the conversation with another 1. And then he will start attacking you. Kill him. If you want to use a safe spot, you will need to talk to any of the mercenaries. And then stand on the northern side of him. And this should be a safe spot. Just use your magic or your ranged. And attack the mercenary captain. Once he has been defeated, he will drop a key. We will need this key to enter the mining camp. After the mercenary captain has been defeated, let's get the key which spawns in our inventory and let's now equip our full desert and unequip everything else besides your full desert. Next, let's open the gate and let's run east. Keep going east until you hit the eastern wall and there will find a man and a woman. We will need to talk to the male slave. Select option 1, then option 2, and then just keep pressing number 1 and the spacebar until you have traded in your desert ropes for his slave ropes. But this depends on your thieving level because he has some shackles. And depending on your thieving level, you will be able to do what? If you get seen, you will be put in prison. Just bend the cell wall, climb the rocks and go back down. Then go back through the gate and return to the manslave to try again. Why? I have nothing on me. Stop attacking me, you bastard. Keep pressing number one. Trade it. Alright, once you have your slave ropes, let's go north and go through the big wooden doors. Next, click south on your minimap and wait until your character is all the way at the other side of this mine. Alright, here at the end and the gate sign, you'll find two guards. Talk to them and select option 2 tries.
Alright, once you've done that, let's go back north and go exit this mining camp. Be sure to be wearing your weight reducing armor. Once back on the surface, let's go west and let's return to the gate. Open the gate. Let's go west. Keep running west until you hit Bedadin camp. We will need to enter the tent south of the desert treasure. Start. Quest start. After a nice run, let's enter the building south of the quest start and the general store sign and here we'll find inside of the tent El Shabim. Talk to him and select option 1 twice. Next, once you have the key, let's return to the mining camp. Alright, once back at the mining camp, let's go through the gate and then go north. Enter the building, the sole building here in the mining camp, and let's go upstairs. On the second floor, let's go to the southwestern corner and search that bookcase. Next, let's talk to Captain Syed and select option 1, 5, 3 and then 1. Since he's distracted, let's now open the chest, since we have the key. And you'll get some technical plans. Next, let's go back downstairs. And let's return to El Shabim in Benedin Camp. Alright, here back at El Shabim's, let's talk to him and select option 1 twice. Yes, I'm kind of curious. And uh, let's go north. North of the very small oasis, you'll find another tent. Open the tent door and let's use our technical plans on the experimental anvil. And yes, select option 1. And depending on your smithing level, you will either fail or succeed. If you fail, try again. If you succeed, use your prototype dart tip on your feathers. And depending on your fletching level, you will succeed or fail. If you fail, try again. Alright, once you've made your prototype dart, let's return to El Shabim. And you will trade in this dart for the Tentai Pineapple. Since we got what we came for, let's return to the two guards at the end of the first section inside of the mining camp.
All right, before we're going to enter, let's only equip our slave ropes and let's go back all the way to the end. And they will allow you access. Let's go through the mine cave. And let's go east. Search any of these barrels. And you say yes to take one. Next, right click on the mine cart and search it. And depending on your agility level, this will start a cutscene yes or no. If you fail, Try again. Once the cutscene is over, let's run northwest. The third one starting from the north. And keep running northwest to the end. At the end, go east to the northeastern corner and use your barrel on Anna, the blonde girl with the twin tails. Next, let's return to the mining cart. And use Anna in a barrel on the mining cart and this should trigger the second cutscene. Once this cutscene is over, let's right click and search the minecart. And let's also get to the other section. Yes, of course. At the end of this cutscene, let's search the northern barrel or search any other barrel and you should find Anna. Next, let's go to the northwestern corner and use her on the winch bucket. And then select option 1 twice. Next, after she's gone from your inventory, let's return to the surface by passing the two guards that you gave a pineapple to and let's return to the surface maybe equip our weight reducing armor again Next, once outside, let's go to the southwestern corner and there we'll find the operating system of the winch bucket. Click on it and operate, right click. Once the cutscene is over, we will need to stand on the western side and search that barrel. Inside, we will find Anna. Next, let's go to the center of this mining camp and use Anna inner barrel on the wooden cart. Next, talk to the mine cart driver. Select option 2 twice. Then option 1. 
then option 3 three times and then option 1 and then option 2. Next, right click on the wooden cart and search it. And yes, get on. And you will be outside of the mining camp. Next, let's run north. And let's return to Irina to complete our quest. Alright, once back at the entrance of the desert, let's talk to Irina to complete our quest. You will now get a Roth Iron Key, which allows you access to the Mithril and the Adamant Ores in the mining camp, which is extremely annoying to get to if you want to bank. And you can now also choose two skills out of these four where you want to get 4600 experience in. I am gonna choose Agility twice so I can skip from level 1 to 26. And congratulations, you've completed Tourist Trap Quest. You are awarded with 2 quest points for the 650 experience in any of those 4 skills, the ability to smith dart tips and the ability to fletch darts, and then also access to the desert mining camp, which is absolutely crap. Maybe it was good in 2003. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete Tourist Trap Quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.